بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين بارئ الخلائق أجمعين ثم الصلاة والسلام على شمس الهداية واليقين حبيبنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد أفعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فاذكروني أذكركم واشكروا لي ولا تكفرون صدق الله العظيم الله سبحانه وتعالى tells us in the Holy Quran that we must remember him فاذكروني so remember me أذكركم I will remember you واشكروا لي ولا تكفرون and be ever thankful to me and do not be ungrateful to me and do not deny me and deny my favors upon you. So the person who prays for us in these days with a heart that is full of passion and full of concern you have to admit is Dr. Sir He says, Ya Rabbi le Muslim ko zinda tamanna de jo qalb ko garma de jo ruh ko tarpa de Oh Allah, oh Allah, give the heart of the Muslim that living endeavor and life and hope so that the hearts may become hot and warm, pulsate with vigor and life or jo ruh and the very being of our spirit will become enlivened and become restless. Now Allah Maikbal sings all this out of his love for the Ummah of Muhammad Rasulullah sallam. And he says that the Muslims, of course, we have lost our vigor, we have lost our standing, we have lost our prestige in this world. There was this valley in Faran. And people had never heard of it. Even the great civilizations of the time had a chuckle and a smile and laughed and never ever spoke of this place as something worthy. And that place became the cradle of civilization, of renaissance and reformation for the entire world. Allah Maikbal says, oh Allah, that very valley of Farah, let it become brilliant and give light once more. In other words, we Muslims have become dormant. We have become beggars, borrowers, imitators. That is what has happened to us. We are supposed to be the life givers of the world and the saviors of the world. We are supposed to be the ummat of Sayyidina Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tute huwe ahon ko pir suwe haram le chal. Yes, we are broken. Even in our asking and sighing, Oh Allah, make our goal the haram, the Kaaba, the Qibla, make it Makkah so that we may obtain new inspiration from there and lead the world. Says, Rifat me maqa sitko, ham doshe suraya kar khud dariye sahil de, azadiye darya de. Says, let our ideals be so lofty and our goals be so lofty that we may reach the different planets, plates, and other planets. And let us be the owners 
of the shores and land masses and let, be, let us be those who control all the oceans. What has happened to us is that even our own oceans, our own land and our own every other possession does not belong to us. We can say, see it today that even the oil in our land, in the land of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu in reality does not belong to the Muslims. It is shipped off to those who are the oppressors of the world. And this is very, very important for us that we must have unity. He is praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the Muslim, he must give once more that vigor, that iman, that love, that understanding, and he's asking us that we must at all times hearken to the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course at the end of this dua, which is quite a long dua, he says, is door ki zulmat mein har qalb paresha ko is door ki zulmat mein har qalb paresha ko wo daag muhabbat de jo chand ko sharma de in this era of darkness and gloom O oh Allah bless every soul with that stamp of love and that light of love that even the full moon may shy away from its brilliance. And I have changed it somewhat. It's door ki zulmat mein har qalb musalma ko wo daag muhabbat de jo qalb wo daag muhabbat de jo chand ko sharma de. We will have, we must have love. And love is the basis of everything. That is what Allama Iqbal preaches in his works that we must be kind and win people through love. We must be careful how we speak, especially to the Muslims. He tells us that we must have a mannerism with, through which we express ourselves. Khamoshe dil bari mehfil me chillana nahi acha. Khamoshe dil bari mehfil me chillana nahi acha. Adab pehla karina hai muhabbat ke karino me. It is not right. O oh heart, be careful, be mindful that you don't make a spectacle of yourselves by shouting and being without manners. For manners and character is the first quality that has to be advanced if love is to prevail. Adab pehla karina hai muhabbat ke karino me. And of course, he wants us that we must be true to Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and his mannerism because he was the embodiment of mercy and love. And he wants us to be following in his footsteps at all times. And if you follow and I follow Muhammadur Rasulullah, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, according to what Allah Iqbal says, he is telling us what Allah tells us in reality, if you take the gist of the Holy Quran, when he says, وَأَنْتُمُ الْأَعْلَوْنَ إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ And you will be the highest and most successful and you will be sovereign and you will be the rulers if you are but true believers. And therefore Allah Iqbal tells us, Ki Muhammad se wafa tu ne to hum tere hai. Ki Muhammad se wafa tu ne to hum tere hai. Ye jahan cheez hai kya loho qalam tere hai. If you are to Muhammad true, and really true, that means if you are faithful to Muhammad and you are true, he says, I will become yours. Allah says, I will become yours. What is this destiny that you are looking for? 
What is this world that you are looking for? I will give you the pen to write your own, own destiny. You will become the owner of your own destiny. And destiny, as far as Allah is concerned, comes through working hard. It is not what they say, taqdeer and kismat. Gar tu mu'min hai to tadbir hai taqdeer teri. If you are a Muslim, then your effort and your work and your application, that is your taqdeer. The result of your work, the result of your sweat and blood is your taqdeer. So a Muslim is not bound by the laws of taqdeer. Taqdeer ke paabanda nabatat o jamadat mumin fakat ahkam e ilaghi ka hai paabanda. Who are bound by the laws of taqdeer, of destiny? The vegetables and the deep rooted stones. A mumin is only bound by the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his orders. He's only bound by that. He is not in any way chained by taqdeer. He has to accept the ahkam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us this great prayer of ours at the beginning and make us work in the true fashion of a Muslim according to the Holy Quran as someone has said Bakshade Sari Khudai to Harifon Kumagar Ham Musalma ku fakat amile Quran karde. Give the entire world and the universe to all. But let us Muslims just become those who practice the Holy Quran. For by doing so we will have the sovereign, sovereignty over the entire creation. Wa sallallahu ala nabi al-kareem. Wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa fiya al-azzu li al-abdi al-dalili Tabazzahu bil-qalili bin al-qalili Tabazzahu bil-qalili bin al-qalili وفي عصيانه عار ونار وفي عصيانه عار ونار وفي البعد ما خزين وبيه